It's Gen Z. She's Socrates of the 2020s. The Socratic method. This is, I'm, I'm finding this a bit. Look, look at this guy. Let's read a little bit. Page five. Emerson offers this comment about our hero, Plato. Great geniuses have sh the shortest biographies. Their cousins can tell you nothing about them. They lived in their writings, and so their house and street life was trivial and commonplace. Or not existent. If you would know their tastes and complexions, the most admiring of their readers most resembles them. Plato, especially, has no external biography. If he had a lover, wife, or children, we hear nothing of them. He ground them all into paint. As a good chimney burns its smoke, so a philosopher converts the value of all his fortunes into his intellectual performances. Now, let me flip back here for a second into the uh, preface. This is um, Roman numeral. XII, for precision's sake. Okay. If pressed for a one word opposite of the Socratic method, a strong candidate would be Twitter. The threat that such technologies pose to the quality of our discourse and the damage they have already done are both obvious to all. But the battle is fought between forces that have not been defined as crisply crisply as might be useful. Fanatical par partisanship. That's a strange word. Partin partisanship. Wishful thinking in place of truth. The shaming of dissenters. The censorship or self-censorship of disproved views. The inability of people to disagree or talk, let alone cooperate. Everyone sees all this on the rise, and most thinking people fear and loathe all that it involves. And portents. These tendencies have not been unified under any coherent heading, though, except insofar as people on one political side say those problems, worst of them, mostly belong to the people on the other. And the alternative to all of them at once hasn't been expressed in a programmatic way. Can't get away from these technology illusions. This, this, this brain we got so much better than computers. Nobody likes what is happening, but the resistance has not had a shape, a plan, or a hero. Because you need to not have a penis. This book nominates Socrates as that hero, and the Socratic method as his plan. Now look, Socrates... lived around 470 BC to 399 BC. That's like 2,500 years ago. And the best the men can do is Socrates. No, he's my dude, right? I am the inventor of Socratic improv. It's these current versions of dudes that cannot be arsed to understand you can't solve today's problems by looking backwards at all. It's life-centered thinking. I got the skills and the vast global movement that will unite us as one species to end all dehumanization. I just, I just read these books and these people get publishing and I get Ignored. All right. Harmony.